Kemi? Something wrong? You're not usually a sire. More of a m'lady, I'd say. Oh, do forgive me. I'm just fine. You needn't worry yourself. You don't seem fine. You seem kind of down, actually. Oh, you've got a rather sharp intuition for your age, don't you? So, what's the deal? There's a person rather longing to see. You're pining over someone? That's not very like you either. What kind of person are we talking? <laughs> what kind of person, indeed. I suppose you could call her the second best woman in Akihabara. Second best? I'm more interested in the fact that it's a woman you're after. And what of it, exactly? Um, well, you said she's an Akiba resident, so how about we try tracking her down on your behalf? You do that for me? Well, I must say, I'd be positively thrilled. She's a fickle one, though. I have the foggiest idea where you might find her. It's all good. I'm an expert on all things Akiba. What's your name? Got a photo or anything? She goes by Akiho. And unfortunately, she's not a fan of having her picture taken. But she's rather tall, and will most likely be wearing a suit. It's not much to go on, I know, but it's all I've got. Well, we'll do what we can. Yamato, Mippity, let's go see if we can track down this rather tall, suit-clad Akiho person. What the hell's gotten into him? I'm not sure. Hmm, where to start? Hold up, Tachibana. Why are you so keen on doing this? Isn't it obvious? Akemi's all forlorn and lonely over a woman. So this may be our one chance to learn a little more about what she was like back in her more masculine days, you dig? <sighs> all right. A chance to peer into the story past of an enigmatic information dealer is pretty tempting. Guess I'm on board. We'll hunt down this ex-girlfriend of hers post-haste. Not you too, Yamato. Let's go, Tachibana. The suspect is a tall woman in a suit who goes by the name Akio. We can totally do this. your name Akiho? Um, what? Whoa, take it easy there, Yamato. Sorry for jumping on you so suddenly. We're trying to track someone down for a friend. Huh, is that right? Well, I'm sorry to say I'm not the suit you're looking for. All right, thanks anyway. Huh, got the wrong person, huh? You need to be a little less scary when you're questioning people. No more Captain Third Degree, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Akio. Save point. You better use it in case the power goes out. Excuse me. Could I please have just a moment of your time? What can I do for you? Well, you see... Keep your eyes peeled, Yamato. She could be anywhere. I know that. My eyes are plenty peeled. I'm back. How'd it go? She was an Akiho, which is totally a bummer. But still, but still, I got a clue. Apparently, the runner-up at the Akihabara's Moe as Princess Contest last year was a woman named Akiho. Great job, Mippity. Any idea where she might be now? Supposedly, she works at some place down on Junk Street. Well, that definitely narrows it down. Come on. Why would they be looking for Akio? Headed into the delusion scape? I'll uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. Akiho, would you? The runner-up from last year's Moeist Princess Contest? Oh, Akiho. I'm not her, but I know her. Sadly, I'm afraid she's returned to her parents' home in Shiba. Oh, she did? Which means... 
Which means she isn't in Akihabara anymore. I'm sorry. Aw, that's too bad. So all my hopes of learning Akemi's secret history have been dashed to the ground, huh? Excuse me, are you the folks who've been asking around about Akiho? Uh, who are you? You'd best end your search here. Capiche? What's his problem? Maybe this Akiho character is more dangerous than we assumed. Oh, my heart's racing now. Well, sounds like our search has hit a couple of dead ends, though. Won't be learning much more today. Yeah, I guess not. Let's head back to Violet Eden. Tachibana, isn't that the same guy from before? What's he doing at Violet Eden? Let's go have ourselves a look. There's got to be more to this story. We should be very, very quiet, though. We don't want anybody hunting rabbits. Well, well. It's been quite some time. I can't tell you how much I've been missing you. Oh, how I wanted to see you too, dear. So, so badly. But circumstances have not been kind to us. Oh, you're such a handsome beau now. Yet you still can't quite shake the feminine speech, can you? <laughs> well, that's for today only. And only while I'm here. What the hell's going on here? I... I have no idea. Who's there? Ah! Oh, who are you people? Really now, Asahi. You know it's only the bad boys who get into this eavesdropping business. I'm sorry. Hey, you're those children. Uh, uh, I mean, the hell's the deal here, you dirty mugs? Oh no, it's too late for that. We heard everything. Dread. Well, I suppose today's as good a day as any. Wouldn't you agree, Akiho? The hell? That's Akiho? <laughs> and there you have it. Jeez, why didn't you tell us sooner? How rude. I may look like a man, but I've still the heart of a maiden. Can't believe you're a chick. I had no idea. Well, she's just as I described her, though, isn't she? Tall and wearing a suit. Yes, she certainly does fit that description. You must keep this a secret, though. The girl I once was, the girl named Akiho, has officially moved back home. So the woman Akemi was pining for is a former drag queen like herself. This one anymore. Oh, but this one just has to stay. What are you doing? Oh, well, if it isn't Asahi, I'm just doing a little spring cleaning, if you must know. Spring cleaning, huh? Looks like it's just a bunch of letters, though. My, how astute. Yes, they are as they appear to be. It's just a sheaf of love letters. L love letters? No, oh, no, there's no need to blush. I'm sure you've written your fair share of sweet missives yourself, Saki. Don't believe her if she says otherwise. But I haven't. I'll bet your diary's full of sappy love confessions to everyone under the sun. What? Come now, Ray Ray, be nice. You shouldn't tease such an innocent young maiden as her. <laughs> Are you really going to throw all these away, though, Akemi? I mean, hell, this one's from a best-selling author. Wait, what? Oh ho! Has your interest been piqued? Only because his writing sucks, I'm sure. If he ever wants to graduate from bad fan fiction, you'll need a mentor. I'll walk my own path, thanks. 
Now see what you've done. You scared Yamato away. Hey, Akemi, isn't this person a really famous producer? My, my, that one certainly brings back memories. That particular admirer pulled quite a few favors for me in his time. So, you used to be an idol? Wow. You totally phrased that to give her the wrong idea, didn't you? What have I told you about teasing children? <laughs> you all sure seem to be having fun. I guess. You want in? As if. Who'd want to hang out with you? You can all talk amongst yourselves till you grow old and die, for all I care. Just make it snappy, okay? I'll be waiting outside. So, talk forever, but hurry it up. Got it. Looks like everyone's having a good time in here. Or so it would seem from your perspective. Are you not having a good time then? Perhaps. Perhaps not. So I'm the only one seeing it that way? How can that be? I'm sorry, Asahi. I thought I knew everyone better than this. I, I gotta go. Mizuki? Kemi? Not cool. Please don't mess with Mizuki like that. He's very sensitive. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. He's just so easy to rattle. <laughs> they just make you want to pinch all their cheeks, don't they? Back when you were their age, Ray Ray, I'm certain your cheeks were just as pinchable. I'm not the one on trial here. How long ago were those days? Those halcyon days when you drink just a little too much and bawl your eyes out. And off he goes. Shouldn't you go after them, Asahi? They may just leave you behind. It's fine. I mean, these are my friends we're talking about. But on the other hand, these are my friends we're talking about. I'd better go just to be sure. Perfect. Time now for a little beauty rest. Asahi, might you be willing to take on a little job for me? Me? Yes, you. Honestly, I don't think anyone but you could do this. Are you serious? Oh yes, deathly serious. Of course, I'll be sure to give you a proper reward for your work. Ah, oh, good, you got yourself a job. Well, you can finally graduate from the whole neat thing and never look back. Good luck, Asahi. We'll go kill some time till you're done. You can do it, Asahi. I'll be rooting for you. I'll be doing nothing of the sort, but good luck. No pit stops, got it? This is good training. Help you become a productive member of society. Our little Asahi is finally growing up. Good luck out there, man. Uh, guys? So, I trust you can handle this, no? Right, fine. May as well get it over with, right? Wonderful. If you'd be so kind, then. I'll need you to start by gathering memories of all the people you met today. But why? I still don't really get it. <laughs> You'll see. That's the fun part. Now, toodles. This all began, and I was supposed to meet with Mizuki. This is where. Oh, hello, Miaster. Allow me out, Mike Musameda, to welcome you to this fine establishment. Yeah, this is where I got catnapped by Mike. This is where Mizuki and I had agreed to meet back before this day even began. Do you have any 
idea how late you are? How long you kept me waiting? And I wound up keeping him waiting way too long, like I always do. On my way back from meeting with Mizuki, this is where I ran into... Why do Akihabara have to change so much? It used to stand for something, you know? Onda. That guy really stuck out like a sore thumb, didn't he? Next day, the first delusion I can ever recall seeing began encroaching on Akihabara Station. You feel it too, don't you? The sense that there's something wrong with the station as it is now. Saki sure did come on strong. Even knowing what I know now, she was ruthless. there was that rude little bugger. Still, can't say I don't like the little guy. Guess he grows on you. Idol Otaku. <laughs> Won't be long now until my hand is touching Mippity's. <gasps> but it's all sweaty because I'm so nervous. What do I do? And by my valuation, talent like Mippity Mops comes along only once every thousand, nay, two thousand years. why I've decided to come here and cheer her on myself. Those were the, er, uh, day. Man. It's a delusion escape entrance. We gonna head in and see what's what? It was in here that we first ran into that edge lord. Doth he seek the ancient scar within? Oh yeah! And when we were running from him, we bumped into Akari too. But I can tell you one thing. You and your friends aren't the only ones who know about the delusion's encroachment. At the time, I could scarcely believe there were people besides us who could sense the delusions. Gonna buy some cards, are ya? Hope you get some rare ones! Say boy! Let's rest a little and make merry! Just when we thought all we had to deal with was that Chuni delusion scape? The maid one popped up too. Welcome to Maid Cafe Mediators. Would you care to come experience some Moe Moe adventures with us? And it was shortly after we met Moe that... I, I need to tell Moe-tan again today that... A whole lot of crossed wires kept happening with that guy. Save point, save point, rolling police, save point, save them up, bum! Jinkies, it's a delusion scape! 
after Moe was Nana. Who? Isn't that Master Asahi? It is! I had no idea what all she was going through at the time. And then there was Yamato. Huh? Damn, you're that guy! Who somehow ended up coming along with us. Why did he join us anyway? It's a trading card shop! I wonder if they have my card. This is where I met her, whom I just couldn't place for the life of me. It is! It is you! Man, it's been a long time! How are you doing? I was forced to admit I didn't remember her, but even if I had, how long had it been at that point? It was inside the maid delusion skate that we first met her. Ladies and gentlemen, Sharago Ube presents PBM, your personal black market. P could also stand for pricey. I still don't get the name. Personal, sure, but how does one shady woman in a mask qualify as a black market? She wasn't the only surprise waiting for us in there, though. Well, how about that? Ain't easy to make it this far in. Guess you guys are every bit as tough as I heard. This was where we met Boss for the first time, too. Looking their roughest, it was her voice that called out to me from the darkness. That's correct. I am Akemi, a wondrous lady from any angle and by any standard. Can't imagine what she's got up her sleeve giving me a job like this, though. Gathering memories is such a nebulous meta task, like something from an RPG. Get a person like her if I wanted to. Oh, and then there was Yoshino. I'm looking for someone. Do any of you recognize this woman by any chance? Hard to believe a maid like her exists right in our backyard. She's the real deal. It 
was right around here that we first ran into Kanata. Uh, oh, hello. I'm Kanata Saotome. She was so convincing. I really thought she was a girl. Where we first met Aoi. Now you do. And although I am the sister of an idiot, I hope that you and I can get along. Lovely to meet you. She was so different from her big sister. Electronics delusion began encroaching upon reality. This is where we found him. I decided to come home for the first time in a long time. And it seems I have quite the welcome waiting for me. And he's been tormenting Yamato ever since, hasn't he? It's a delusion scape entrance. We're gonna head in and see what's what. After the electronics delusion had begun its encroachment. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Hahabu. I hope he's able to smooth things over with his family. This is where we finally crossed paths with... I hereby contract your delusion. The Pink Caped Man. Delusion Contractor Cannon. all got separated, this place was sealed off. Don't tell me you can see the door. And it wasn't just D.A.B. grunts, there was also... If we don't get the guy soon, we'll have a real nasty mess on our hands. Kasuga Yuki. Could never forget that guy. No, I'd sure like to. Same here, but don't write over anything. Cause that ain't right. It's a delusion scaping. In here is where we finally found the person Reiji had been searching for. You're unusually agreeable today. Glad they could meet up again. And then finally, we came here. Today's incident has you looking more harrowed than usual, so I'll let that slip this time. And only this time. And the serpent reared its head. Hmm. I think that's everyone. All the folks I met yesterday and... Um, today. Guess my work here is done. Time to report back to Akemi. It's a delusion gate entrance. We gonna head in and see what's what?
Welcome back, Asahi. Did you gather all the memories I asked you to? Uh, yeah, I think so. But I don't really understand what value my reminiscing has to you. <laughs> Just wait a moment and you'll find out. Uh, Kimmy? It is done, Akimi. Oh my, that was fast. What the... Why is Shariko here? I'm her business partner. Business partner? I had to gather up all those memories so I could make... this. What is it? See for yourself. Huh? I made all of you into motifs for trading cards. A very special, very exclusive set I call Akiba's Beat. Akiba's Beat? Beat? It's a pulsing, living record of all the blood, sweat, and tears shed alongside all those you've met in Akihabara. So, you had me gather memories to make trading cards out of them? Absolutely. And you really came through for me. It's a wonderful hobby, don't you think? I'd like you to regard these as something of a graduation album. A yearbook depicting you and all your friends. Is there some reason you didn't tell me this is what you had in mind to begin with? Would you have actually gone and gathered all these memories if I had? Or would you have been too embarrassed? Guess you got me there. Exactly. At any rate, if you'd care for one of these cards, just say the word. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'll even give you a deep discount for all your troubles. What? You're seriously going to charge me for them? 